So here we have the new concept Mark IV three inch fret saw. That means it's three inches from the frame to the blade where the blade will be. And uh, this particular model has the tensioning lever device so you can tension your blades by flipping that over. And it also has swiveling blade holders so that you can swivel the blade in uh, up to 360 degrees all the way around in 45 degree increments. Um, that actually comes in really handy for a lot of different things. And one of the reasons why I chose to work with this saw today. Anyway, so what you wanna do is you want to get your blade and um, this will work for your standard jeweler's blades, uh, which are about five and an eighth inch long. And if you're ever worried about, you know, will you, is your blade long enough or is it too long? The frame itself actually has measuring points up here that you can actually lay your blade against and say, okay, yeah, that's, that's gonna work, okay? Uh, everything I'm about ready to tell you is in the instructions. Uh, they're really good instructions, really well written, and there's good graphics and photographs and things like that. So uh, if I miss any details, you can always check the instructions and, um, and get those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the blade, and I usually start on the bottom uh, and go ahead and insert it into the blade holder like that. And when you do that, you wanna make sure that you're all the way down to the bottom so that that screw will really clamp down on it. And on the top, always make sure that your cam lever is pushed all the way down like that. So there's plenty of tension here, freeze it up. And I always push down on it a little bit to make sure it's fully seated all the way down. And then I can slip that blade in there and then screw that down like that. Okay, so now that blade should be in there, should be tight here and here. And we go ahead and put some tension on there by rotating this cam lever, okay? So we'll go ahead and rotate that, flip it over. And we should get to, get to about this point and it should get a little stiff, okay? But we should still e be easy, should be easy to push all the way down like that. And you'll hear that little, little tink. We know it's tight. If for some reason you can only get to right about here and you can't really push it down very easily, uh, what you can do is you can adjust this knob uh, to the left, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, uh, just a little bit, like a fraction of a turn, and try it, and then keep doing that until you can go all the way down fairly easy. If you go ahead and crank this down when it's really, really tight, you can do a couple of things. You can um, pull the blade out of the holder. It'll just slip right out. And in some cases, with really thin blades, I've actually seen... Uh, when I go to do this, it'll actually break that blade because there's just too much tension. Um, but now it's ready to go. We've got the tension on there, and we can go ahead and rock and roll and operate like, like we normally would straight ahead. Um, but there might be a situation where you need to move that frame out of the way. Let's say you're cutting a, a strip off a piece of metal like that. and just cutting that straight across. You'll want that frame out of the way so that you can go all the way down. Okay. Um, to do that, I'm going to do this at 90 degrees. So we'll go ahead and release the tension on the blade. And then what you want to do is you want to take the blade holder, little black part, push down and rotate. And we'll do the same for the top. And you want to make sure that the bl uh, blade clamp knobs are in the same orientation. If for some reason it's like this, you can kind of see that they're not in the same orientation. That means there's a spiral in the blade and it's not gonna work. So go ahead and make sure they're always in the same position. And we'll go ahead and retension it. Yep, still great. And now we can go ahead and we can cut this strip of metal just like that. Uh, works really, really, really well. So that's how um, basic operation of the saw uh, and little factors there. And there again, everything I just told you is in the instructions um, and they'll help you with the little details that I might have missed.